A static web page is one that is already written. An HTML file, fully formed and ready to go, is sitting on the server waiting to be requested for display. This is excellent for many pages, and it's the way the web was originally designed to work, and it worked quite well. It all starts from the client. In this case, it's the World Wide Web, so the client is a web browser. The web browser generates a URL, which is the address of a particular HTML file located on a particular server. The URL is sent to the server. When the web server receives the request, it locates the HTML page on its local disk. The web page is loaded from the disk into the server and packaged in the HTTP protocol to be sent back out over the internet. The HTTP package containing a copy of the HTML page is sent to the client, the web browser. The web browser then reads the tags in the HTML file and figures out what to display. The web page could be all inclusive or it could have some tags that require other files to be loaded from this server or from other servers. The client will continue to send requests and get information back until it has everything it needs to build and display the complete page on the screen. And that's the traditional way. But there is another way. The page can be dynamically generated by a Java server page or by a servlet. It all starts with the client as usual. A request is made for a specific web page, but this time the actual page doesn't already exist. The server recognizes the name as one that is to be passed to an application. The application receives it, runs, and produces the HTML. Now, the application program itself contains all the fundamental information, the layout of the page and what have you, but it may have to read a database or some other data file to get some information and fill in the blanks. From this information, it constructs the HTML text of the web page. And that's what this course is about, writing Java servlets and Java server pages that produce HTML files. The HTML page is returned to the server. From here, things are processed as they normally would be. The page is passed to the client, and then it's displayed. The client, the web browser, requested HTML and got HTML. Where it came from doesn't matter. The application itself is held ready inside a software container. It's this container that does all the communication and starts and stops the application. That's the subject of the next lesson.